Hey guys, it's been a long time. I've probably tried to record a video like this at least six times now. Um, so, and the quality looks better because I got a new phone. How about that? My other one was six, seven years old. Um, so I got a newer iPhone, not the new one, but I got the 12 mini. I'm so trying, I literally got it last week, so I'm still trying to figure out how it works. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. The point is, is to catch up with you guys and to explore this coffee. It's called Rip City Roast. I literally just woke up. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got this in Blue Ridge. We went to Blue Ridge last weekend for my birthday. My birthday was the 14th. Today's the 15th. But I'm going to post this today, so... Um, yeah, yesterday was my birthday. I am 31 years old and you can tell this is a new setting. I'll explain that in a minute. Let's do coffee first. Um, <laughs> um, so we went to Blue Ridge for my birthday, Blue Ridge and L.A.J. Um, it was not fall weather, which was really annoying. It wasn't humid the way it has been down here. So when it was in the 60s at night, it actually felt nice and not like you're walking through soup. My hair's really frilly, sorry. I, I will talk about the length of my hair, I promise. I know it's been a long time. But this, the interesting thing about this coffee is that it's CBD based. It's like um, 900 milligrams of industrial hemp derived CBD per bag. Um, it doesn't tell me anything other than that. But um, there's a website, if you want to try it out, there's a website of the company who makes it. And it's Tranquility, like the word tranquility, and then tea company. So tranquility tea company dot com. Um, I'll put it in the description. So let's try this out. I've waited all week because we went last week and announced Friday. Um, I waited all week to try this because, in my experience, CBD knocks me out. I use it to go to sleep. I have a oil tincture that I put in my water some nights when I really can't sleep. Um, works for me a lot better than melatonin or anything. It smells like coffee. Kind of a weird after scent. I hope the coffee is good. She said the lady sold it to me at this cute little shop, the CBD shop. And they just had like CBD and skincare stuff. It's not, um, like you can't get the gummies, like the Delta 8 gummies and stuff like that. Um... So, and I don't know which mug this is. Like, it's one of those changing ones. It could be my Wonder Woman one. It could be my Harry Potter one. I'm not sure. We'll find out once it gets hot. So, just hold that, hold that for a minute. What? That doesn't go in there. That doesn't go in there. I'm very high. I'm using my cure. I just have the, uh, there it is. I found it. Um, I'm using my curing. I have a French press. I don't feel like getting it down. So it's my first off day since last week. I'm tired. Pop it in the Keurig. So while it's doing this thing, yes, my hair is much longer. I've been growing it out for a year now, pretty much exactly a year. Um, my hairstylist comes to my job a lot and we see each other outside of it she's just a really great person um like i saw her at dragon con and she's so cute in her costume she's adorable she's precious um anyways she's like it's so long it's like because she's the one who originally cut it into a pixie and she's on i've always gone to to cut in pixies undercuts i had a mohawk once like she keeps my hair short so for her saying it this long in the last eight years she's known me maybe even 10 years oh it's my harry potter mug i could just switch it around but why on earth would i do that yeah um i mean fuck jk tolling not tolling no. <laughs> Fuck rolling. That's what I was trying to say. Fucking turd. Um. I always feel like really guilty when I buy or even like Harry Potter stuff now. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. That was my childhood. That was like my first book that I read on my own. 
and then I fell in love with and got me into reading and fuck you for being a turf. You are actually Umbridge. Not Voldemort, she's Umbridge. Um, anyways, how was that five minute video of me just rambling? Yes, but this is a year's worth of growth. It has like a shelf to it. It's not as bad as it was. I'm trying to grow it out. She suggested just like grow it out until like we can layer it all at like, dang, right here. This is my growth goal, like right here. That's, that's a lot. Um, so once like this gets lower, my hair's also very curly, but yeah, when that gets lower, we'll like layer it up and give it some shape and stuff. So I wear it up every day anyways to work and even here. So yeah, let's try this coffee. This natural light though. Smells like coffee. I'm just like wondering if it's gonna, she said, I didn't even finish that thought. <laughs> like I have ADHD, so that's, I distract myself enough um, in a simple way of putting it. Um, but then I'm also very tired. So. It's just not a mixture for good things to happen. It smells like coffee. And it looks like coffee. It don't really smell the CBD oil. So let's see if it has that weird CBD or aftertaste to it. Or if it's really thick. I find like when I use the tincture, it makes the water really thick. I guess oily because it's oil. It tastes like coffee and I still didn't finish my thought. The lady at the shop who sold it to me, she was really sweet, great. Go by, see her, she's lovely. She knows all the information of all her products, she will tell you, but um, she said this doesn't give you the jitters. So like if you drink more, like me, if I drink more than two cups in a day, in a full day, like in the morning and afternoon, I am completely jittery and can't do anything. Um, if I drink two back to back, I'm completely jittery and can't do anything. She said it keeps you from having those jitters. And normally, like when I'm at home, I don't even normally drink coffee, so let's see. I do kind of smell hempiness to it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I know it doesn't. And there is a hint of an aftertaste of the CBD aftertaste. But it's not terrible. So we're gonna move from this room. This is my kitchen. Yes, mine, ours actually, it's mine and Zachary's. We um, moved in together back in April. So it's been a minute. Um, I know my last video was like, I think it was me getting my sec, no, it was my first vaccine shot, I think. I'm already at three. <laughs> so it's been a minute. Um, let's see. You're only seeing my face because I do not have any pants on and I'm not gonna put any pants on because I'm at home in my own house. So this is my office. I have a neat little office, like the bookcases. We, me and Zach um, both have an office in this house. It's not a very big house. Um, so when I say office, don't think like we have like some super mansion. We don't, we have, it's really tiny. It's actually a really tiny house, but it's perfect for just the two, it's just the two of us. My cats are with the grandparents. Um, but yeah, I had inlaid bookcase already and I was like, Duck, this is my office. This one's mine. Cause this could work as a bedroom. They have a closet in here. Um, that's how they market it. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom house. Um, it's really a two bedroom house And this, I think, cause this was built in the 1950s and I'll do like, I did a tour, but that was right when we moved in and we really didn't have, like this was not set up at all. I just finished setting this up back in September. Um, I think my fall decorations are so cute. I have a house I can decorate. Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, it's a cute little house. It has its issues because it's a rental. Um, and we all know how how renting goes. So I think I think most of us know how renting goes. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm implying. Um, oh, oh, I'm old. I'm 31. But yeah, so this is my office. So I took this one. And then the Zach's office used to be what was a carport. And they just like built a room there instead and added a laundry room so he took that just got all his stuff and hopefully he, i really haven't done many videos since we started dating i realized that and i feel so bad i just 
Um, cause this channel, and that's something I want to talk to you guys about too, is how, what I put on this channel, because it started out as a tutorial channel, kind of, for cosplay, and then I was like, well, I want to do other stuff too, which I did, and that was fun, and then it just became, and then it became a vlog channel, which I loved, that was a lot of fun too, it was a little awkward, like, pulling your camera out in public, um, but it's still fun, and then, um, it became a ranting channel where I just ranted about everything. Well, first, well, I kind of started before Ant. No, no. It was vlog, then pandemic, which we're still very much in, guys. COVID hasn't gone anywhere. Wear your mask, get vaccinated, please. At least get vaccinated if you're like, fuck these masks. I was about to not swear, and then I realized I already swore, swore two minutes into this, so. Because. Rolling is a turf. She's a fucking turf. Fuck her. Um, and anybody who agrees with her, fuck you too. You can't be a feminist and be transphobic. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, shouldn't be transphobic anyways. What are you fucking scared of? That you're gonna change your bits? That's not how that works. It's not about you at all. Stop making it about you. Um, shit. See, I forgot what I'm talking about. Zachary. <laughs> I left a mess in my office. Not that my office is pristine, but still, I have like paint all on the floor. I'm making, I'm doing some fall painting. Anyways, videos, content. Okay. <laughs> One is making sure I have my thoughts together before I start filming. That is my first goal in revamping this channel. I figure since it's been at least five, six months since I last posted. Um. Anyways, yeah, I went from vlog channel then COVID, so we went places, but we uh, we were very safe. Neither of us, knock on wood, have caught or given COVID to anyone. Um, yeah, because we stay, we social distance, we wear a mask, we wash our hands, we use hand sanitizer. I have like four bottles in my bag. I'm not fucking getting it. I refuse to get it. I'm like, no, I'm not getting it. I'm not giving it to anyone else. So it's not happening. I also didn't get my flu shot. I'm not going to give anybody that either or get it. Um, but yes, shit. the coffee's, it's, it's slowly like, um, the brain fog is lifting. I'm not feeling sleepier. So there we go. Um, oh. I'm a, I'm a mess, you guys. I'm a mess. Anyways, and I know I'm a mess and that's okay. Um, content channel. Yeah. And then it just came to me ranting about things much like I have done in this video and Honestly, there's enough people on the internet yelling about different shit. Um, I don't want to continue adding on to that. I want to bring more, not necessarily wholesome content in the way like, um, you would like, like, I'm still going to swear. Like, I'm going to cuss. That's just who I am as a person. Um. I might, I'll probably try to tone it down though. I might. <laughs> I make no promises on that. But more just back to the creative stuff. Back to showing you things. Like I haven't worked on a cosplay. Well, I, I finished some up for a, I didn't even finish any up. For, we went to Dragon Con this year. Um, and that was great. It was so nice at 50% capacity. Oh, it was beautiful. We could get on the elevators. We could see the floor. It was just, it was magical. And next year won't be like that. Um, but anyways, and I thought about vlogging there, but I was like, I just want to spend time. And that's been a lot of like, you don't see a lot of vlogs from me because when me and Zach do do something, I want it to just be us. Um, I know that kind of sounds weird maybe, but that we met each other, what, 11 years ago now? We met, yeah, no, 10, 10, 10. 10 years ago. No, not quite. We met in 2011. So yeah, 10 years ago. Um, last month actually. And he had asked me out a few times prior and I said no. And then when we finally started dating, I even told him this like early on in our relationship. I'm like, I am really sad that I said no all those times. Like, as I feel like we missed all these years together. So now I feel like we're kind of trying to catch up, which is silly because we're not, but we are. Um, and if we had dated back then, it wouldn't have worked out. We wouldn't be where we are now. Um, 
so there's that but <laughs> but that's just kind of like I just want to spend time with Zach this is our trip <laughs> so maybe you you knew would think after living together for six months that would kind of tone down but like no like if he's home I have to be near him at least for a few minutes and then I'm like okay I'm gonna go do my own thing now so <laughs> just like and he'll do that too it's like well I'll be in like the living room and he'll be in the bedroom watching sports I'll be playing a video game or something and we like switch off out this seems almost hourly and we don't even think about it I'll go into the bedroom and bother him for a little bit <laughs> and by bother I mean just like cuddle and then I go back to the room and then like an hour later he comes in there and he's like I want kisses so we're very needy <laughs> very clingy to each other but it works for us um so I think I I don't know if there will be vlogs with us I would like there to be um I wanna I want to showcase some of Zach's music on here but I have to get his permission first uh he doesn't know I want to do that yet though um <laughs> he's trying to finish school right now so that's his number one focus and priority he's he started he only has three classes left he started back in his early 20s and life life happened and now he's finishing it up um, his bachelor's degree, so I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. Um, yeah. I didn't really intend this video to be very long, but I'm not shutting up anytime soon, so. Sorry. Um, but yes, I want to go back to more creative stuff, like, um, cosplay stuff. And, like, I really haven't done any cosplays. I styled, restyled some wigs and just put some pieces together. I didn't make anything. Um, like, we did... I did a Vacation Rogue. There's a comic book where Gambit and Rogue, I don't remember the name of it, go on vacation and just nothing turns out right. Not the cartoon. Um, not the 1990s cartoon, but there was a comic book. Um, so, but that was just yellow crop top, shorts I already had, and a wig. <laughs> so, I, I, though I'm, I, I ooh, ooh, words. Um, I am actually waking up. I like, I feel it now. I'm not nearly as tired. So I'm not, I barely drink any of this coffee. I've had like two sips. If you looked at my cup, you would, it would look like nobody's touched it. That's how little I've had. Um, but yeah, I keep forgetting what I'm talking about. My eyebrows look great. I did not wash my face last night. I just took so much hazel <laughs> to it. It's super good. Um, but my eyebrows are still penciled in and they look great. Um, creative stuff on my channel. That is a whole point of this video. So yes. <laughs> um, but not just cosplay stuff either. Like I'm doing a couple paintings over there. I'm not a very good drawler or traditional artist in that means. Um, but I like doing it. So I will, I'll finish those and show you them and then maybe we'll do like something Bob Ross-esque and we'll go through a paint with me thing or something. Um, cause that just sounds cute and fun and kind of reminiscent of those, um, sip and paint classes that it costs like $40 per person. Um, so where you get like one or two alcoholic beverages and then you're showed how to paint like an elephant or a pumpkin or flowers. Um, I always want to do this. They seem really cute and fun, but they're expensive. Like, that's a lot. But art, even like the cheap art stuff that's not in high quality is still expensive. So, and, um, I don't know. But yeah, cos so, like stuff like that. Cosplay, improv making, and like wreaths. I made a wreath for Halloween and it's super cute. I would show you, but it's on my porch and I don't feel like getting up. Or I'm going outside because again, I don't have pants on. Um, this, I didn't cut myself. They cut off a suspicious spot. They don't think it's skin cancer, but they wanted to get, I got the results back, but I can't log into the portal. It's like, no, we don't recognize you, even though I just set this up. Um, but yeah, it's just a spot. You don't want to say it looks really gross. Um, they don't think it's a skin cancer or anything, but just that with me one being so fair being so pale and white and then two being on prednisone it really increases my chances of getting skin can skin cancer 
So we gotta, we're like, any suspicious spot, we're like, okay, we gotta test that. So, yeah. And it got bigger. Like, the spot was getting bigger. And I was like, oh, no. We gotta take care of this. But, yeah. That's pretty much what I came to talk to you guys about. Try out this coffee. It tastes like coffee. It's not, like, it, like, Folgers and Maxwell House are, like, bottom tier buy at the store coffee they're not good they're just they're not they're not i'm sorry i'm sorry anyone who likes this i'm sorry folders and maxwell they're just better coffees out there you you serve the masses you do your job but you don't taste very good there are coffees that are more expensive you don't get as much for your money but they taste so much better so much better but this is kind of like I did, I filmed a video and then I never posted it of me getting this coffee got in, trying this coffee got at a coffee shop in St. Simons, Georgia called Wake Up. I think it's called Wake Up. Literally best coffee I've ever had. So smooth, very clean taste. Oh, uh, you could, it said like it has dried strawberries and other things in it and you could actually taste it. A lot of things that they say that you can't taste it and you're like, well, why do you even put it in there? But you could taste it, you could smell so good. So that's my top tier. And my bottom tier is like Maxwell House folders. So this is in between. It's, a, it's just a good standard coffee with the benefits of CBD. Um, it, it is really weird for me though. I'm like trying not to like freak out. <laughs> it is kind of weird that I'm drinking some of CBD and I don't like I feel buzzed and tipsy when I have it have use CBD. Um, and I feel really relaxed. Like, it really helps my joint pain. Um, is your girl's getting old. She's getting old. And, yeah, like, this was hurting before I started drinking. It's not hurting now. Um, right, right through here. I really gotta get my tendonitis. We confirmed I have tendonitis. We just gotta do something to fix it. Um, or make it bearable, rather. Um, without payments. Which is probably what I, they probably just want to keep, keep on with the CBD. Um, but not having that, like, I can go back to sleep. I can go to sleep. Because it makes me very sleepy. Like, my my friend gave me some Delta 8s at uh, Gummies at Dragon Con. I thought I had a hair clip tie over here. I don't. Um, And I knocked out. Like, I was good for a few hours while we were partying and whatnot. And then I just, like, nearly fell out. <laughs> so, and then I was sleepy for the next two days. So, like, it normally knocks me out. I think I think you guys understand that it knocks me out. So, this is a really weird experience. Like, I'm feeling awake, but not sleepy because of CBD. <laughs> it was a weird thing for me to wrap my head around at the store, too. So, but yeah, it's um on their main street. It's, like, not even half a block away from the train depot that's right in the center of historic blue ridge um so it's, it's like salvo or something like that i think that's what the bag said and you can order stuff off their website um i'll go look at the bag and put the website below and yeah if you are traveling like we just did please wear your mask at least be fully vaccinated just like the way we're gonna stop having to wear masks like all together isn't people just being like well I'm not gonna wear a mask fuck you it's wearing your mask getting vaccinated to the point where the virus cannot get into our bodies anymore or not as easily not as rapidly and not as in many people that's the whole point of trying to wear a mask and get vaccinated is to stop it like and I know most of you well, not really anyone who watches my channel, but a lot of the anti-vaxxers are big Trump supporters. So here is an allegory for you. It's a wall. It, you build that wall. Yeah. Yeah, you build that wall and they can't get in. Yeah, that, the they, the virus, it can't get in past that wall. You understand what I'm saying? Um, it's not a hard concept, guys. It's really not. It's like, you don't want to get sick. Even if you're like, well, fuck it, I'm going to get it anyways. At least try to keep yourself from getting sick. Put some effort in. Put some self-care to yourself. And I said I wasn't rant. And there probably will be rantings. Especially in like if we do. Maybe we'll do coffee talk videos. Like once a month we'll have a coffee talk. And just rant. 
about the things on our minds and by our minds i mean my mind we can make this a thing comment below and see what you want to rant about for november we're already halfway through october guys But yeah, anyways, basically sum up this video, coffee, CBD coffee, I like it. Um, it's, it's nice, it, it's coffee, it doesn't taste bad. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's, it's smooth, it's good. Um, you know, that's not really a good uh, comparison. I was about to say it's like the Starbucks cup bag coffee you can get at home, but Starbucks kind of burnt their coffee i would say the um the blonde roast similar but smoother um so yeah more creative content and just better content i do want to do is like some more scripted things i know i have like a two like a 30 second skit on there and that was actually really funny for me to make it's just so dumb and it's so dumb but i love it so much um so yeah but I don't know when I'll, I don't have a set schedule for anything. Um, there's some things in my life I'm trying to figure out like career wise. And if I'm going back, I want to go back to school or not. I'm really at this fork in the road. So I was like, why don't I just record some videos while I figure that out? I'm still employed. Like I'm not unemployed. Like I was when I started this channel. So, you know, there's, there's that same job I've been in. It's fine. Customers are mean, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stop being mean to people. Like, shit. <laughs> stop. It's not nice. It's not cute. Like, just stop. Just stop. Okay. Um, I'll probably give you a proper tour of the house at some point. And by tour of the house, it's gonna literally gonna be like bathroom, living room, my office, and the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and the guest bedroom because my guest bedroom is very cute it's like the only like themed um really decorated room we have in the house um we don't know our lease is a year and we want to build but with the housing market i mean building is always cheaper but then actually buying or renting but that's gonna take time so we might be here a while unless i get a job in atlanta i'm looking at getting a job in atlanta Hopefully I can. And then we gotta figure out either renting or buying or building in Atlanta. And the child, the housing market is awful right now. Like, it's great if you wanna sell, but you're probably not gonna make what you're, you're gonna sell at a higher price, but you're also gonna have to buy at a higher price right now. So you're not gonna make any money off your house. And then like my manager, she just moved and she had, she put six offers on a house and still didn't get it. And they had to look somewhere else. It's like, oh, and her, but her house sold in two days. Like that's, cra that's crazy. The market's crazy right now. So I would not buy. If you do not have to buy right now, do not buy. Cause it is just a shit show. So, but we want to build a house. We just don't, we're trying to figure out where, where we want to be. Because it's a lot of effort to put in to a house and then move in like a year. So. I'm trying to see. My house is haunted. FYI. Go stay on and show up. I was wondering. Normally when I'm in here, they're watching me. I think it's a she. I think it's, the name is Thelma. I'm not sure though. Because we get a lot of mail from a Thelma. But they haven't lived here in a very long time. I don't know. I don't know. When we moved in, there was a lot of negative spirits in this house. And I told them to get the fuck out. And they got the fuck out. They really did, though. Like, I laid in my bed, yelled at them. Like, probably, like, my neighbors could probably hear me outside and be like, what the fuck is wrong with her? It's like, nah, you guys kept, it's 6 30 in the morning. You just woke me up. No, <laughs> we're not doing this. Not wake me up out of my sleep. Ugh. You think Zach would have learned that by now? <laughs> you gonna, you're gonna get cussed out if you wake me up early. Kind of, I like my sleep. My hair looks like it hasn't been washed, but I promise you, I washed it yesterday and it's dry as all hell. I shampoo my hair like it's just like humidity here is just frying this. Okay, now I'm just talking about random, random things that make no sense. Uh, I'm not editing this video, so I recorded it on my phone. That's part of the reason why you haven't seen a lot of videos from me lately, it's because I'll record them. 
and then I never put them on the computer to edit. Um, so yeah, it's just been, I've been in real depression funk lately. It's, it's weird. Like I'm really happy that me and Zach live together and all that. And like part of my, my, like my, I'm happy, but I'm depressed at the same time. So it's just this weird mixture. So that's, that's the number one reason you haven't seen anything from me. And I just want to change the content on my channel. I, I know I took a much longer break than I expected to. I didn't even expect to take a break. It just happened. Um, but I do miss you guys. I miss recording videos. I miss making videos. I even miss editing them, even though editing can be very, very annoying. Um, I do miss it. And yes, I will give you a proper tour of the house. It's a very tiny house, but so it'll be like a two minute video plus me rambling. So, you know, I can't just stick to the point for some reason. <laughs> See, I just thought of another idea, another, not idea, but a branch I could go down. I'm like, no, stop, stop doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I will see you hopefully sooner than later. Um, I finally filled out a place I can start working on cosplays again. I have a whole little setup. It right now it has the paintings I was talking about on it. Um, and that's just really exciting and nice for me and yeah, but the holidays are coming. So I don't know. We get real, life gets real busy around the holidays. <laughs> I'm sure as most of you know, but yeah, well, you will see. We'll see. We'll do some crafts together. We'll do some more coffee talk. This is a good coffee talk. And yeah, if you have, um, why don't we do that? Why don't we have, we could do, I don't know about weekly. Why don't we try monthly first? We'll start it monthly. And if you guys have like just a lot of things you want to talk about, we'll we'll go from there. Maybe buy like twice a month or and yeah, you get the point. We'll go from there. So let me know below what you want to ramble and rant about below um, for next month for November. So um, I'll give you a good two weeks. How about that? We'll do it November 1st because that's a Monday. Yep. So yeah. We'll do that, and I will see you guys, if not before then, on the first. All right, bye, you guys. I love you.